we need to talk about the campground, I suppose. We're at River Trail Crossing in Butler, Ohio. What's unique about this park is a few things. Um, it's not very big. It's about 50 sites. Um, there's a river that goes through it, basically. And there's a bike trail that's back here that uh, we have a tendency to enjoy. And so does a lot of other people. There's a lot of people on that bike trail that goes about 20 miles. Um, and it's part of the whole rails to trails, if you haven't heard about that. Richland uh, County. Yeah, it's basically, uh, that happens in a lot, I th even Florida has it. Uh, they convert old railroad uh, that isn't being used anymore into trails uh, that you can walk, bike trails. So, uh, let's go ahead and show you the campground. It's going to be a real quick walk around. We've already done this prior. We, we were here last year, but you know, things change. It, it looks different now. We were here in April before everything bloomed. And uh, it is Sunday. Most of the people have left here, but there's still quite a few because it's the weekend. So let's go check this place out. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. So this is our site. Uh, I have no idea how big this is. Pretty big it's huge. I mean, I could park the truck out there without it being underneath the fifth wheel, and it won't even be close to the road. We could probably fit five cars here. Yeah, <laughs> you get a figure that we have all this, all this to that white pole basically, and then all this. Now our neighbors have left, um, and their site's even bigger. It's across from the dump station, and you're going to see a mix here. You've got primitive, you have electric only. You have water and electric, and then you have full hookups. And this is what he called PT2. And this is pull through number two. Uh, and this is, of course, pull through number one. Down this road here will take you to this one lane of campers. And, of course, the dumpsters right there. However, the most important thing for us is this road will take you to the access to the bike trail and the bike trails on the other side of that tree line and it's at an angle and again about 20 miles that way uh, off of the distance you'll get to Mansfield uh, which we did on <laughs> our electric bikes we had last year and they didn't make it we had to pedal back and that was a little rough uh, sewer hookup uh, water uh, 50 amp only so you have to have a dog bone adapter if you're running uh, 30 amp and um, water pressure is pretty good and electric's good uh, the internet for t-mobile is fair here or i should say phone service um, it's okay um, at&t is pretty darn good and starlink i think is okay as long as you have a, a clear view of the open sky uh, this neighborhood left here also number 23 and something that's kind of funny here uh, which I'm not exactly sure why, but I just mentioned that there's 50 sites, and there are 10 Rockwood trailers here. Uh, just must be a popular. So you basically have three rows. You have that row that's out there that's kind of the main drag. You have this row here, and then you have the next row, which is kind of waterfront, I guess you can say. Again, you can see how big the sites are. I mean, they're relatively large. Do you have a pavilion here? You hear the cicadas. Horseshoe pits. Uh, there is no swimming pool. Uh, they do have a, a sort of a camp store that also has uh, ice cream. You can get ice cream up there. Not soft serve or anything like that. But So uh, last year our site was down here amongst the trees and then we're coming over here um it's kind of the the road for all these places but tent camping yes and uh, they do have electric and water um even for the tent camping this one would be bad you know you are right on the river heidi said something about flooding what did you say uh, last year after we had left, 
Uh, but, or maybe, it, maybe this year. He didn't say what year. Because we were here last year. Last April. But anyway, he said the water was clear up to the road. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes sense. That's a, that's a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, I think our site was 16. Right? Yeah. So we'll go down towards the water here. Oh, we'll walk down there too. Yesterday, that whole area over there was just filled with people. That would be cool to have those sights. If we ever come back up through this area, we could maybe stay the night. <laughs> yeah. I swear the river was running the other way yesterday, but I know it wasn't. <laughs> I thought it was running the other way last time. Yeah. <laughs> but it probably wasn't. So, yeah, it's um, quite the river, and I guess it could be raging at times. Uh, the one thing that is kind of a recreation here, if you'd like to, I think you can either rent or buy the uh, panning uh, from the campground, the office. Yeah. So, you can actually come out here and try your hand at panning for gold. Again, yesterday, all these sites were all tied up with people. I mean, they were must have been the same group, I think. So, again, although these are primitive... Uh, you do have uh, electric. I'd see in the summer when it's really hot. Boy, the shade would be awful convenient. Don't see much for fishing going on. Although I do see fishing line hanging from the tree. That would be me. That'd be Heidi. <laughs> That's Heidi's thing. Well, I don't know about hearing the traffic on the bridge all the time. Yeah, this road is kind of busy. Yeah. Well, you didn't pick their cigarettes up, it wasn't me. It wasn't Heidi. Yeah, look at all the trash they left. Yeah, there is a lot of trash here. Mm -hmm. Well, can't all be good stewards, I guess. But yeah, this is, uh, there's a cat across the across the way they're digging through the water there are houses on that side of the road so it's probably very nice yeah very very nice homes yeah I don't know if I'd want to be down here necessarily with all that noise plus somebody throw a beer bottle over the edge or something and hit our camper but yeah this is this is kind of sweet we're actually outside of the town of Butler uh, we're guess the next closest town would be Belleville um, that is if we take the bike trail it takes us to Belleville first and there's a lot to do there uh, shopping the whole thing now in Butler there is a dollar store there's a couple of restaurants a gas station um, you know convenience store type thing but as far as the uh, if you want a little bit bigger town then you're going to go to Belleville and again, there's there's stuff to do there. Some there's actually some attractions there that you can kind of check out. Real nice park. Um, and then if you want like Walmart stuff like that, you're gonna have to go to Mount Vernon. Uh, that's probably the closest. And then if you need a big city, Mansfield. Nice little place. It's not very expensive, uh, and it is a Passport America. So. You do get discounted rates for being Passport American members. And then uh, as far as if you're not Passport American members, they have specials that you get so many nights and you get one night free. So if you decide to come and try some primitive camping or you just want to get away from it. Oh, definitely forgot to touch on this. Shower houses and laundry room down there. We talked about it on our last video, so... Um, you're not completely left out.